Good afternoon. So I've already done a lot of work here. Um, the base is all uh, foam, very high density foam. Uh, single half inch sheet and then I double glued uh, another half inch sheet and I put in uh, channels or spaces for all the wiring. So there is uh, some wiring that goes up the center channels and there's one, two, three going this way so I can uh, feed wires underneath and also I've cut access holes for wiring uh, for possibility. I'm using all Cato Unitrack here, uh, single, it's a single main line and two industrial spurs. So we have one industry here and then we'll have three here. Uh oh, <laughs> there went my rail car. Um, this entire, uh, there's going to be multiple levels here. This is why I went with these Woodland Scenic Risers. It made it really fast to put in uh, the track area here. Um, this back end side, this center and that back end side is actually going to be a quarter inch uh, higher. I do have some uh, inclined starters which I'm going to use to bring that side up. Um, and this entire town is going to be about two and a half inches tall here. This section here is actually going to be cut out. So we have like a little cliff with a winding road that goes up and back down and then back up again. And this side is all rural. Um, there is going to be an uh, elevated section over here. It's going to be about three inches up elevated. And again, three inches up over here. Uh, this is all going to be a mountain. There's going to be a tunnel from here to here. And then there's going to be a waterfall cascading off of here. And there's going to be several tiers of s smaller waterfalls coming up and around. And then here it's just going to go off to a river that goes off to the edge of the track. And here is going to be a small uh, cove. And on this side there's going to be a little winding road that's going to go from basically this elevation all the way up to about this elevation. Or actually a little higher. Um, so there is going to be some winding roads and a uh, nice landscaping and stuff that I had planned out on my uh, track plan software. And so far everything is fitting perfectly. Uh, the area I'm working on first is I have these sections here that are open. Uh, these are not glued down in this section, these risers. Um, I'm going to be putting bridges in or something like a bridge. So let me just show you what I have. Uh, I went through a number of different possibilities what I could do. Uh, but I went and bought uh, this little, let's see if we can get it in there. It's an Atlas kit. It's, <clears throat> it's meant to be a Vidoc. And I'm not exactly sure what I have inside of it. It comes with uh, pieces to build um, the piers and stuff. So there are different things that come in it. There's more in there. So what they come like is it comes with two, and hopefully you can see this, I know it's a little backlit in here because the sun's really coming through the windows. Uh, so they come like this. Uh, and there's two of them. And what I am doing, or what I have done, is I have cut it to a single portal. And then I glued them together like this. And as you can see, they can fit in. This one here uh, needs to be adjusted for the risers. They can fit in. Actually, it's <clears throat> so I'm working on this section now. I haven't painted it, but it kind of um, I got the risers put in really good and tight against it, and you can see it can sit in there. And that's going to be for my uh, road uh, bridge area. And I've test fitted these buses, which are pretty high, you know, um, for a vehicle, and they fit in there perfectly. So, and I can get both side by side. I have to do a little work here. I'm going to need to get about three eighths worth of foam uh, just on the edges here so it can support this. And then I notch this section out. I don't believe this is the foam for it, and it's not, but look at it, it can kind of fit there. Kind of get an idea what's going to happen. So, I'm going to paint all this up. I'm going to put some foam in there, and I'm going to actually do the road section from here to the edge of the layout. Um, <clears throat> put some foam in there, a little plaster cloth, uh, maybe even some flex paste, 
and then I'm going to put the smooth it just in this area because once I put it in here and glue it all in, like I said, I'm going to put a riser up here to, or an incline, start inclining up in this region. So I'm not going to be able to get to this once it's all uh, ready to go. But this is a really good uh, modification of a $5 kit. I was looking at other bridges that would be kind of like what I'm trying to do here out of like real bridge type kits and they would be like 30 bucks so I saved myself a big amount of money here by repurposing this Atlas Vidoc on that uh, this is the water area so when I put this bridge section over here um, and I have to adjust these and then glue them in um, there is going to be water under this so I'm going to have to probably go in and do some plaster clothing and water tightening just from the edge of the layout to probably about here uh, before I finish off all the other areas because I will not be able to get to it once uh, the bridge is in and the risers and the other stuff so I'm going to have to do that ahead of time so that's what I'm focusing on hopefully just this week I'm hoping I can do it in a week but might take longer